Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. All right, today's educational website resource is Achieve 3000. Really excited about this resource that we're gonna be sharing with you today. Um, it is remote learning, obviously, um, but it's for a reading class. Uh, teachers can access a uh, digital literacy at home as well as students. Um, what is being provided at this time for free is user IDs and passwords. So once you go to that digital tab, you select, uh, get started and let's say you have a uh, ninth grade classroom and you need st students in that class really need some uh, remediation and support with comprehension you do have on grade level students as well as students who are ready to um, advance to the next grade level so what i would do is write down those usernames and passwords group the students accordingly uh, based on ability level and then assign them this username and password. So once you have done that and they go to log in and get started, which is also at the top of uh, the dashboard there, uh, the username for on grade level nine, at home nine, and the password was A3K underscore at home nine. Now, once a student gets in and they click log in, they are required to um, create an account, but it is certainly worth it. The uh, growth that I have seen using this resource is just really remarkable. Um, so they would go ahead and enter their first name, last name, and uh, select the day in which they were born. One security question, click next, answer it. Fairly simple, finish. Here's their username and password. I would encourage them at this point to go ahead and save that login and password. If they don't remember it, um, it will simply ask their first and last name and then their um, security question as well as their um, first day of their uh, birthday. So it's very simple security questions for them to uh, retrieve that information. So we go ahead and enter site. Again, ninth grade, on level, um, ability wise. What's nice about this, once they enter, all they have to do is have one click on my lessons and everything is laid out for them. 
Now they do have to complete activities with 75% accuracy or higher in order to move forward. Um, so we'll start with the first one, a musical pioneer. Once they enter, there's a before reading poll. And then the text with the article has a musical pioneer uh, vocabulary that's listed here on the side as well. So they read through the article and then have a follow-up activity. There's an after reading poll, as well as thought questions. And these are more like an extension questions. What is also nice is there are um, enrichment activities that follow this particular activity, but they are only required to complete steps one through five in order to advance to the next text. So those extension activities are available as well as vocabulary and some extra uh, fun here on the um, extras tab. But again, once they complete that, they go back to my lessons and it's advanced and it will continue to excel them on to those next levels. So this is a great, great website for uh, differentiation, uh, instructional, um, delivery that is really tailored down to the student's needs as well as um, intentional lesson planning. So this is a great resource. Hope you can use it throughout the rest of this year into the summer or next year to improve students' um, growth. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, share out and we'll see you soon.